Prayer is communication with God. However, many people approach it in the wrong way. Many people have misconceptions about it. As a matter of fact, here's a few. Take a look. My prayer life is vibrant, active. I'm talking about daily. I like to commune with my God at nighttime. I get in my bed and get up under those warm covers and I kiss my wife goodnight and I just start talking to God, telling him all my troubles, telling him, I'm sorry, I'm just getting sleepy just thinking about it. I'm in bed and I'm talking to God and he hearing me and I know I'm in good company, you know. I'm sorry, where was I? There are times when me and God do not talk and that is not God's fault, that is mine. I just get so busy. And so when I do end up talking to God, I really just try to impress him, give him a show, just to show him how much I really love him. So excuse me, will you, as I pray to God. Oh, Heavenly Father, oh, Heavenly Father, beseech me not unto thee. How now, brown cow? All in his soul is so dry and I can just catch a morsel of food. You are so verily, merrily. Down the stream. God, I just want to be used by you. I want to be sighed and sawed and lied and sawed and lawed and sighed and peppers and oregano and pepperonis and black olives and those little things. When I like to get my prayer on, I like to turn up. And I know God like to turn up too. And it's also important that you know that God is just like Santa Claus. He is here to give you whatever you want. So the best thing to do is to keep lists. Currently, right now, I have about uh, 745 prayer requests. And let me get into my first prayer request, because this is top priority. Dear Heavenly Father, in Malachi 16.20, you say you have embroidered us with cloth and shod us with fine leather. Lord, right now, the Michael Jordan Retro number fives are made out of the finest leather, Lord. And you also said that you will give a man a good thing coming to a man that availeth much. Lord, if the line is around the corner on Foot Lock on 52nd Street, I will avail, Lord. Lord, if I have to wait in King of Prussia parking lot all night, I will avail, Lord. And if these sneakers are under $400, I will take it from a sign from the almighty heavens that those sneakers are mine. I claim them now, Lord. I claim the Michael Jordan Retros number five now, Lord. And your word, you said the finest leather, Lord. And I asked, and I received that. On to number two, my credit score. God, you are greater than anything this world has to offer. And I can't wait for you to come back and get us. But until that time comes, can you just help me to live my life as if I am walking hand in hand with you? God, I have a lot of needs and I have a lot of wants. Sometimes I get those things confused. Help me to just trust you to meet my needs and be thankful when you give me those other things that I just want. Oh God, I've blown it so many times today and I'm sorry. Thank you for your forgiveness. I don't take it for granted. And as I start out this day, God, I'm just reminded that this world is filled with so many spiritual potholes. Please help me to walk in such a way where I won't stumble so much. And as I'm going through this day, God, help me to live my life in such a way that will bring you honor and glory. May the life that I live be a life of worship to you. Amen. Yes, maybe we were a little dramatic, but the bottom line is prayer is from the heart. It's never about being loud and dramatic, although that's okay. God desires a broken and repentant heart. God is not impressed with you going through the motions and imitating others. He just desires you to be you and communicate with him. 
It's between you and God. So remember, the next time you pray, God won't be listening to your lips. He'll be listening to your heart.